Hi folks, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. Well, I hope you're not feeling too confined and you don't have too severe a case of cabin fever as the lockdown progresses. Yeah, even in Canada here, we're busy being told just to stay at home as much as we can. Um, it gets difficult, of course, being confined like that, but there are some positive things about it. And that is, you can catch up on a lot of things that you haven't done, but you wanted to. Like catching up on Netflix episodes, catching up on YouTube videos, like the tip of the day, editing your pictures, using Lightroom, and having some fun with photo editing. Those are some of the good things here. And uh, it's sometimes tough to find any humor in a situation that's pretty dark. One of my friends said the other day, I'm just off to the bottle store to go and get me a six pack of Corona. If life hands you lemons, and then her voice trailed off, and uh, while that might not seem appropriate to be making jokes, I think it's, it's the human experience that we have to find humor in dark circumstances. Try and see humor and fun even in the middle of these circumstances. And above all, stay safe and don't do things that are going to be high risk activities. Now, let's get back to what this channel is about, talking about Model 3. And this is Tip of the Day, Episode 22, and we're looking at all aspects of setting up charging. We're going to look at two places. One, your phone, the phone app. And number two, which we'll start with, all of the settings in your car when you go to the charge button. We're not going to do it from the desk here. We're going to get outside, get into the car. I'm going to show it to you actually in practice. So let's go. Very similar to yesterday's upload. There are different ways that you can charge. Set it on your app or come and set it here in the settings. So let's get out of here first of all. Whichever app you last used in the app tray, you can just pull upwards and it comes back. But let's pretend we hadn't. Tap the app tray, tap charger, and there it comes. First of all, you can set the amount of the charge. And of course, Tesla recommends that that be somewhere in the vicinity of 80, 85%. All you've got to do is hit set limit, grab the triangle, and you can move it to where you want to. And uh, we're going to move it two bars from the end, which is about 80%, and then you hit done. So that will set your upper charging limit. Obviously, you don't want to charge to 100 unless you're going to use the car immediately and you can start to deplete that charge. You don't want it to build up in the battery and then the car remains unused. Uh, we've set the limit, that's good. Opening the charge port. There are multiple ways of doing this. Method number one, tap open the charge port and it will be open. Method number two, tap the little charge symbol on your avatar. Method number three, if you're outside the car, push your finger on the lower right hand corner and if your magnet is still intact, the port will open as well, providing the car is unlocked at the time. And method number four, take the charging handset at a supercharging station and push the button on the top of the charger wand and it will open your charge port door. So those are four different ways you can open your charge port to get the charging wand in. Now here's an interesting thing at the bottom here. Schedule. At the moment my scheduling is off, but let's imagine I wanted to start charging at a particular time. In this case it's 11 o'clock, but of course you can change it to whatever you want. And then the car just begins charging at that time until it reaches charge you set earlier. But how about this one? I want to depart at 8 a.m. So what that'll do is it'll begin the charging operation to finish at the level you scheduled, like 80%, to finish at that level at the time of your departure. And it does something more. And if, for example, all week we wanted to precondition the cabin only for weekdays and not for Saturday and Sunday, tick that little box. At the moment, we've set it to charge to be ready at 8 a.m. all week, Saturday and Sunday included, but it's only going to precondition the cabin on weekdays. Of course, we could tap weekdays if we stay at home on the weekend, but we go to work each day in the week. So there it is. Um, pretty useful. If you have, for example, a uh, time of day charge, if they say it's cheaper at midnight, well, then we go to 12 a.m., and your car would start charging when the electricity rate in your area is cheaper. That's great. 
I'm going to just go back and turn it off. That's method number one. Once you begin charging, you will see the numbers that have been added to the charge. You will see the rate at the charge. You will see how much longer it'll take to get to the charge limit that you set. You will notice that as you're charging, the rate gets slower and slower the closer you come to your set limit. If you don't need all that charge, charge only while it charges very quickly and then disconnect, drive on. If you don't need the charge, you don't have to charge until it gets to 80, 85%. Take a look now at how it works on the phone app. First thing to do is to get into the Tesla app. Second thing is to go and look down at the list for the word charging. Tap it. And here's the other method I mentioned that you could open the charge port using the open charge port button on the phone app. Notice that it is showing me the nearest supercharges or destination charges nearest to my current location. That's great if you decide you'd like to charge in a public charge place. But let's go here. So we're going to tap on that little triangle. And now you can see that if I'm charging daily, I should not go above 90. If I'm charging for a trip, I can go to 100%, and that's the interpretation of the word trip. I like to be more conservative, so if I put it at 80, at the moment I've got 209 kilometers, but what I'm going to be doing here is putting it to charge. So that's how we do it from the phone app, and when you finished with this over here, you'd simply tap on the triangle, you'd go back again, and that's it. The phone app is influenced by your charge settings in the car. So, for example, when we just said schedule start at 12 a.m., if I plugged in, I'd have the option down here to say start charging. But if I don't, it will wait until the scheduled time of midnight and then it'll begin charging. So you can override that, just tap start charging, or you can allow it to charge at the time you set it in the car. Right now, I've plugged in the wand. And what's happening is that I can start charging and override my schedule or I can unlock the charge port. So let's unlock and I'm going to take it out. I've just removed it. I'm going to put it back in again. And it senses the presence of the charger. And it begins charging by itself. Now, if I wanted to, I could just hit stop charging. Got a notification there that charging had started. And the rate that I get at my 220 volt station at home is typically 44 kilometers per hour. We're up to 33 right now. There we are. We've hit 44 and it will stay around there. That's typically what I can expect to get. And it's 31, 30 amps, 31 amps. So that's not bad and it's always fully charged before the next morning. Well, that's it for today. Tip of the day number 22, it's over. And I don't think it was as long today as it was yesterday. Thanks for the support and the comments. I love the comments that you guys leave. Um, you're just very kind. And there are very few mean people out there. Most of the comments are helpful, positive. Frequently I will pin one. Like yesterday, I forgot to tell you that you can split the airstream with your fingers. Just do that and it will spread out and the air will flow past you. But I pinned the comments, so keep your comments coming. Thank you for your support, thanks for watching. Uh, please use the referral code whenever you decide to pull the trigger and buy a Tesla. Get yourself a thousand miles, 1500K of free supercharging at Tesla's amazing supercharging stations all over the continent, even all over the world. So until tomorrow, look after yourselves and we'll see you again.